Hi, my name is Shreyans Mehta, and I'm the CTO and co-founder at Stealth Security. And I have Will Glazier with me, who leads our threat intel platform. So what does Stealth Security do? We do uh, bot detection on your applications and, and protect companies like yours from attacks like account takeover, fake account creation, and things like that. What is account takeover activity? It, it's malicious actors getting access to millions of credentials and then trying it at your site. It could be your web application, it could be your mobile applications, and even APIs. They're trying to get access to those credentials and take over your accounts. What we're going to see today is an activity like that, an account takeover activity, going on an OFX channel, uh, which is actually your APIs. We're going to do a little role-playing exercise where I'm going to be the attacker who has access to these millions of credentials, and I'm going to go after a fake bank that we have set up, the Santa Cruz Bank. And I have access to these credentials, and I'm going to attack it over OFX. Now, what this OFX API, I'm not going to bore with the script that I'm, uh, I have in here, but it just looks like a typical XML, and when I can just go through different credentials that I have access to, engines just fire it away on, your, uh, on, on the site. And Will here is actually the defender who is actually defending our OFX bank, uh, the Santa Cruz bank on, on, on all the channels. And let's see what he sees over there. Yeah, so like Shran said, I'm using the Stealth Security product here to defend. And what you saw when I just flipped over was us launching the attack and beginning to attack. And you see that red popping up here on the screen. Now, how does Stealth Security's product work to detect bots and protect your site from them? There's three main components. The first one is application discovery. The second one is detection, bot detection. And the third part is protection. OK, now what do I mean by those? The first part, application discovery, means sometimes you don't even know what you don't know about where the bots are going to hit, when, where they're not. So in Stealth, you go ahead and open up what we have, the concept of a sitemap where there's a big tree that shows you sort of all your application properties that are exposed to the internet. In this case, our fake Santa Cruz bank has a dub 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 property here. Uh, they've also got a mobile property. There's some properties where we see scanners running on our test setup here. And they've also got an OFX property. And that's what we're going to protect today. It's an open API where you can inject JavaScript. And it's, it's exposed to these kind of bot attacks. And so onboarding it is pretty much as simple as just tagging it to label it, <clears throat> which we've already done on that dashboard, and configuring extraction, which allows you to parse out metadata and say, OK, here are the usernames being abused by bots today. Here's the kind of browsers and clients and scripts that they're you know, attempting to, to spoof and masquerade themselves as as they come in. And so once I've done that and onboarded and discovered the apps, we go into the detection component. And that's what you see here now is that the red traffic begins to pop up. The bots are attacking and hitting hitting hard here. And you see all the data populating now in the detector dashboard. And when we talk about detecting bots, we need to know what are the kind of, wh what makes up one of these attacks? What do the bad guys need and what do the bad guys do? Well, they need three things themselves. They need tools, which are a script that they've written or a bad tool that they've downloaded off the black market, which is basically plug and play. They just at load in a file and click go and it'll launch these kind of attacks. They need tools. The second part is they need infrastructure, so proxies distributed all across the world or localized to the United States because they know that maybe you're a US financial institution, you have US customers, they want to blend in with your customers. So they need proxies, that's the second component, and then they need credentials, which Shran's already touched on. He's going to you know, launch a bunch of a million credentials and try them all and see which ones work and which ones were reused. So we have detection engines, detection blades that are designed to detect all three of those components. The data that you're seeing here on the right-hand side is everything around a fingerprint, which is our proxy for the tool, that first component I said. There are some machine learned models that are designed to say, hey, this tool, they're saying that they're Chrome or whatever, but in reality, they're behaving like a script. Uh, there are also heuristics around network intelligence for that second piece saying, hey, this, this network belongs to a bunch of proxies that shouldn't be accessing your site. These are bad actors that you shouldn't be seeing on your OFX channel. And so that's all this data here on the, uh, that, that's populated and all these rule triggers. You can see we've got you know, a whole host of triggers here that we don't need to go into detail on this demo. But once you've determined that something is bad, now you want to take action on it. Okay? And that's where we flip over to this mitigator component, 
and we can see that now we've got a, you know, that big spike of traffic that we're taking action on here. And here's what we're actually doing to it. We're doing something called the, the honey trap, which is a little bit more elegant than just blocking IP addresses um, or blocking even like some kind of behavioral fingerprint. We're actually taking this behavioral fingerprint and we're lying back to the bad guy and we're telling him, okay, you know, here, you're getting successful responses, your script is still working, when in reality, none of the traffic that they've just launched has actually been able to hit the site and actually log in. So I'm gonna turn it back to Shrans and he's gonna show you what we're seeing as the attacker and wrap it up from there. So let's see how my script yeah. is doing. Looks like my script is happily running. I think I have access to a ton of credentials, but from, from Will's side, he's sending me fake credentials. Right? What that means is if I take those credentials and try to do the actual fraud, or I sell them in the black market, they will really never work. So instead of simple blocking, we believe in honey trapping so that we're not tipping off the bad guys. Now, so what did you see today? Right? What you saw was protecting your APIs is as important as your web and mobile channels. These, these kinds of attacks are very hard to defend against simply with your web application firewalls and IPSs and things like that. You need a defense that, that goes a level above that, that, go, that is going after the intent. And if you want to learn more about this technology and how we can solve your problems, come see us uh, at our booth uh, and we can talk more about it. Thank you.